Coming up, we'll take a closer look at an athletic opportunity for female students at FHS and see what students know about the Thanksgiving holiday. We'll also talk about the true story of Thanksgiving and catch up on sports. I'm Evan Bridges. And I'm Alex Mills. Welcome to this special edition of the Bulldog Weekly. Welcome back to the Bulldog Weekly. Today is November 21st. We've got a great Thanksgiving show planned. Let's start with some world news. Intense fighting at Hong Kong's Pyrotechnics University has died down after several days of violent and improvised combat. Student protesters held up at the university beginning last week, continuing the exhausting months-long fight between citizens of the country and its police force. Students inside the university used makeshift weapons including Molotov cocktails, bows and arrows, and slingshots. After orders from the police and a standoff lasting several days, many of the hundreds of protesters have surrendered their weapons and entered police custody. Protests in Hong Kong show no signs of stopping at this point, though the effects of that episode have yet to be seen. That's all for World News. Any student, parent, or teacher looking to help students in need should look into the Bulldog Giving List. To learn more, check the student announcements. Tickets for the 15th annual Madrigal Feast are available now. The event will take place from December 12th through the 14th and will consist of food, music, and holiday cheer. Students are reminded that the tasks assigned to them on Naviance are mandatory. Any incomplete assignment should be completed as soon as possible. Failure to complete these tasks will result in loss of privileges such as parking passes and participation in extracurricular activities. For more information, log on to your Naviance account. When most students think of the wrestling team, they primarily think of a men's sport. However, here at FHS, the women's wrestling team looks to change that. Willoughby Magnuson has more. Girls wrestling is a very underrated sport. Thanks to Coach Petty and the female wrestlers pushing for a team, the FHS girls wrestling team was officially sanctioned this year. So two years ago, Abby Fimbrez uh, started as a freshman. And um, when she started, we didn't have very many girls on the team. She was the only one. And from there, we've grown to about 11 girls on the team now. Um, honestly, it was like eighth grade. A whole bunch of girls from the wrestling team previously had come over and was like, hey, we're trying to get girls. I'm like, okay. Because it seemed like a lot of fun when I first started. And then like, I, it started to get a little tougher, which was really good for my health and stuff. So I was like, okay, bet. Let's keep it. The mental aspect of it has, has pushed through a lot of tough, hard days. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that go hand in hand with wrestling. Whenever you go through that, this is the hardest thing you've ever done, and your coach is grinding on you and yelling and screaming, hey, you get up, you do it again, you know, over and over again. Um, that's life. Uh, as an adult, there's warnings, I don't want to get up, I'm hurting, I'm sore, I'm tired. We've had some hard practices, we're grinding, you know, we're practicing two, three times a day. and. Um, you know, that mental mindset of come in, wrestle, do what you got to do, put your you know, foot in front of each other and just keep grinding. It made me think about like all the pain that like other sports go through and then like how we're, we may be up there and we may be tough, but like we, we're always like going out there and having fun on the mats. I love to be on the mats all the time. I love to help kids. Um, find the potential and kind of push them to the limits and over um, and just to better themselves. If you're interested in wrestling, contact Coach Petty or come to the wrestling room. Thanks Willoughby. FHS is very proud of its women's wrestling team. Auditions for the FHS Spring Musical 9 to 5 will be held on December 4th and 5th in the PAC at 4 p.m. All students are welcome to audition regardless of experience. For more information, see Mr. Cooper Rescue in room A104 next to the Black Box Theater. Seniors are reminded to keep up to date with their senior information in the student announcements and their school emails for information about college, including scholarship and application deadlines, as well as college visits. Each week, FHS gives out awards to honor students and staff who are exceeding expectations. This week's Staff Member of the Week is Suki Hires. For her win, she will enjoy a nice meal at the barbecue place. Students interested in the AVID program, please make sure to attend the AVID night in the FHS cafeteria from 6 to 7.30 tonight. Every student knows that the last week of November, it's time to start playing football and eating turkey. But most students don't know the true origin of the first Thanksgiving and why we celebrate the way we do. 
Braxton Boleyn sat down with some FHS students to get the real story of the first Thanksgiving. Hi, how are you? Good, I'm doing awesome. So today we're going to do a one word story. We're going to say you the words of the people we've interviewed so far, and you're just going to say the first word that comes to mind. Okay. All right. Uh, so the first words are once upon a time. Roosters. Congregated at. Say they congregated at Ethiopia. For. Thanksgiving. Tomorrow. Hens. Takeover. Popcorn farms. Where pilgrims have cruel intentions for tater tot. Who have contaminated the school board with diabetes using stuffing. And that is the story of the first Thanksgiving. Well, that was interesting. We want to wish everyone a good Thanksgiving break. And with that, my name is Derek Collins. Back to the desk. Thanks, Braxton. That certainly isn't what we expected. Definitely not. But after the break, we'll see Alex hit the halls. We'll also hear from Aiden Vermillo with the Bulldog Sports Report. We'll see you in 30. Welcome back to the Bulldogs Sports Report. I'm Aiden Bermillo. Last Friday night, the Bulldogs met their first playoff opponent here at Harmon Field and added another win to the board, beating Cabot 44-14. This win takes the dogs to round two of the playoffs, where they face a rematch at Bryant tomorrow night. FHS is hoping to avenge their loss to Bryant earlier this season. Good luck to everyone traveling to Bryant. Bring home a win. If you want to watch the live stream of the game, go to the FHS TV YouTube page for the 7 p.m. start. That's all we have for this week's Bulldogs Sports Report. I'm Aiden Bermillo. Back to the desk. Thanksgiving is definitely a special time of the year that we take very seriously. So this year, I went out to see if the students here at FHS really know their stuff when it comes to Thanksgiving. <laughs> All right, Jack, what do you know about the holiday of Thanksgiving? So Tell me everything. I know that Christopher Columbus sailed the ocean blue in uh, 1492. Mm -hmm. I know that once he got there to uh, Plymouth Rock uh, from the Mayflower and two other ships, where the two are called. What is it? Santa Maria, the Mayflower. What's the other one called? Magnolia. I don't know. Um, that sounds right. I don't think I don't think it is. I don't know. So they did that, and the Pilgrims. I don't know if they went to someone, like one of the Indians, I guess. And they just said, hey, let's feast. And they were all good from there. And I think that's Thanksgiving. They ate? They ate, and that was about it. So. All right, Michael. So this historical figure is known as the mother of Thanksgiving, right? She also wrote, she's the author of a famous song. It's one of these four. Okay. Row, row, row your boat, Frosty the Snowman, Jingle Bells, or Mary Had a Little Lamb. Which one do you think it is? It's got to be Mary Had a Little Lamb. You sticking with that? Yeah, locked in. All right. It is Mary Had a Little Lamb. You're right. All right. So what Thanksgiving food, if you could remove, take away any of them, which one would you take away? Turkey. Why? <laughs> Turkey is really dry to me. I do not like it. That's fair. That's fair. You got to have like sauce with it. Yes. Okay. All right, Sasha. What is your pick? Take away one food from your dinner table at Thanksgiving. What is it? 
I know this one is really common, but pumpkin pie. Why do you say that? I hate pie. <laughs> Mine was definitely more common. Okay. All right, Ryan. So, a famous historical figure once said that making Thanksgiving a national holiday was a ridiculous proposition. All right? Okay. It's one of these four people. Thomas Jefferson. Okay. Nikolai Tesla. Thomas Edison. Alexander Graham Bell. Who do you think it is? Um, Tesla. <laughs> no. No? It's Thomas Jefferson was the answer. Uh, why? I don't know. He didn't. He was not a big Thanksgiving guy. Not a big Thanksgiving guy, I guess. All right, Jack, tell me everything you know about Thanksgiving. Okay, so a long time ago, there were pilgrims, there were Native Americans, and they basically looked past their differences with a large feast organized by Squanto, and they enjoyed lots of lovely food and friendship and talking, and basically created a, tr a tradition that has lasted for hundreds of years. That seems pretty accurate. I have no idea if that's right or not. You murdered that, bro. Thanks, bro. That's all we've got for this edition of the Bulldog Weekly. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at FHSTV-Fayetteville High for all new shows and live events. And follow us on our Instagram at FHS Bulldog TV to stay up to date with all the news around the school and in the community. I'm Alex Mills. And I'm Evan Bridges. We'll see you next time. <laughs> I have a sport for you. Me too, dude. It's on yeah. like the back right. It's in one spot. Mine's all the way down, dude. Be continuing the exhausting months long. I don't know what. You stopped. I just stopped. You were killing it. Well. <laughs> What's that thing? Dude, I should. Sounds like Landon Glasper. Hey, fool. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I just murdered that scene. <laughs> what was wrong? Like, seriously, what was wrong? show no signs of stopping at this point through the though the <laughs> any student parent or teacher looking to help students in need should go whoa my bad my bad First take pee, now I'm getting a little nervous. Is there a girls wrestling team? I think girls are on the wrestling team. Oh. Yeah. Complete these tasks will result in loss of privileges such as parking passes and the participation in ecu- Students are reminded that the tasks- <laughs> Students are reminded that the tasks assigned to them on Navians are mandatory. Hold in loss of privileges- Are you joking? Are you kidding me? He was me? doing so well. <laughs> I thought I saw him coming, I was like, don't! <laughs> I should have stopped him. Yeah, I, I was hoping you were gonna stop him. I went, F8, what are you doing? Can somebody touch up my makeup, please? Oh, yeah. My foundation's coming off. 